Hello everybody, this is Satya Malik from LearnOpenCV.com and today we are going to talk about two facial landmark detection libraries. The first one of them is DLib and the second one is CLM Framework. So let's dive in. So we will first talk about DLib. What you're looking at is DLib's facial landmark detector and you can see that it does a very reasonable job. It's, it's very nice in fact. And I can move my head to the sides, I can move my eyebrows, I can get my face closer, and it keeps tracking. The smile is good. Doesn't work as well with a frown, but it's still very good. The nice thing about this library is that it is open source. It is header only, so you can just include the headers in your C++ application and you're good to go. It has a Python API as well, if you're interested in that and uh, the license is very permissible in that you can use it in a commercial application. One other nice thing about this algorithm is that it is really fast. Technically it can do facial landmark detection in just one millisecond. That is a thousand frames a second. However, you need to do face detection before you could do landmark detection. So the total process can take about 30 milliseconds. But if you do some optimizations, you can get to about 60, 70 frames a second. Now, this is the second facial landmark detection library that I'm reviewing. Uh, it is called CLM Framework. It has a very fancy display. But you can see that this does uh, a very, very good job. In particular, the, the points are very stable in the video and it does a pretty reasonable job with the pose of the face. And it also gives you this cube on top of the face, which uh, tells you where the face is looking. But as part of this library, you get pose detection as well. The license is not as permissible. Uh, I do not think you can use it for commercial purposes. It was also slightly more difficult to get it working on, on my Mac, uh, but it certainly can be done. Well, that was my review of the two libraries, DLib and CLM Framework. If I had to pick, I would pick DLib, and the reason is that you can use DLib in a commercial application. DLib is very fast and it is as accurate as CLM framework. If you like the content in this video, go check out learnopencv.com where I blog about computer vision and machine learning algorithms. Thank you.